Cleveland Guardians hosting the Boston Red Sox, and the Red Sox are minus 115. On the money line, the Guardians are minus 105. The over-under is 8.5 runs. Boston, laying a run and a half, are plus 145, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by 2. Cleveland, getting a run and a half, are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. If they lose by 1, you win. Now, Pavetta has not pitched against the Cleveland last year or this year. Quantrill pitched twice against the Red Sox last year. Seven innings, two runs, one earned. They lost that game 5-3 to three in 10. Six innings, five runs, five earned. They lost that game 8-5. to five. Now the Red Sox are 7-7 seven and seven this year when Pavetta is on the mound. And Cleveland is 5-7 and seven when Quantrill is on the mound. The Red Sox are on a four-game winning streak and they are 19-15 and 15 on the road this season. Cleveland is on a one-game losing streak, and they are 16-10 and 10 at home this year. Head-to-head, -head, Cleveland's on a one-game winning streak. The Red Sox are 6-4 and four against them in their last 10 meetings. The road team is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. The underdog, getting a run and a half, is 7-3, and three, meaning they either won the game outright or it was a one-run game. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings, and the over 8.5 is also 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. Considering that both of these pitchers' ERAs are around the same thing, I'm going to go Boston with the money line, Cleveland with the runs, and the over. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong. These are just my picks. If you disagree, go with your gut. That's always the best thing to do.